Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Ryan Nose Tech with TechInform.us. Welcome to the video. Today is Thursday, the last day of March 2011, and I've got a pretty quick video. I apologize for these videos that don't have my webcam streaming. It's all in attempt to keep the file size down. I've been uploading larger vlogs on my vlog channel. Links on top down below. It's youtube.com slash jrsvlog, and they go all night, so I don't have a whole lot of time to let these go at night because my internet connection here with Time Warner Cable is deplorable. So uh, I apologize again for the 720p video and the lack of seeing my beautiful face. But anyways, we're here again on Mac Rumors because there's not a whole lot going on in the tech world, and when I get bored, I come here. So if you have any requests or anything you'd like to see specifically, please send me an email, ryan at techinformed.com. US. Leave a comment in this video or send me a personal message on any of my YouTube accounts and I'll go ahead and filter that in my folder. On my desktop I have a folder or a file uh, called videos and I'll go ahead and put your idea in there and if I can do it I will and it won't take long. So uh, that's how that works. But anyways we're talking about Adobe Photoshop for iPad here today and that uh, this is a post that really caught my eye because I use the iPad quite often. I use Photoshop quite often. So Photoshop with layer support for iPad sounds really interesting. Got a pretty short video here. It's about two minutes. You can go ahead over. I'll put this link down below too. It's macrumors.com. It's about halfway down the site right now, as of 8:45 p.m. on the 31st. So they pretty much did a real basic video demo of what it looks like. I'll mute and play it here. Um, be able to see a little bit of what it looks like. But App Adobe has had an application in the App Store. I'll go over onto that tab. It's Adobe Photoshop Express. It's free iOS universal application. It's pretty basic. It gives you the options to uh, crop and straighten, flip. It gives you vibrant and pop and borders and really basic editing. Definitely no layers or any anything that would be remotely professional. It's really just to play with the photo and, and make it look more interesting if you want to send it to somebody or maybe make a, a background for your iPod or, or iPhone. So I have that. I rarely use it. It's not really a good interface. It's a little slow even on an iPhone 4 and it's pretty limited. So this application here, the video is now playing, looks pretty interesting. You actually have layer support to put different layers. He's working with a mask right now where he just put a mask on and then touched uh, the screen to erase part of it to reveal that fire. I apologize, that's small. I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger. Um, so that's the little demo of the, the layers right there. But that's pretty interesting. There's no words if it's going to make it to a public launch or, or anything like this. But on a tablet as powerful as the iPad, this would be possible. However, user input on the iPad is all limited to touch, which to me would make any Photoshop editing design, anything like that, very difficult. That's why I was pretty nervous about iMovie for iPad, which I still haven't used. I apologize for not making those videos. But um, I, I, I've opened it up and played with it. It looks pretty interesting. So we'll have to see if this actually makes it to the store. It'll probably be expensive, but uh, it looks really nice. So leave a comment. Would you use something like this? Do you think it's even possible to make an editing application that would be powerful and useful enough on a device as nice yet as uncontrollable, I guess you can only touch it, as, as the iPad? So what are you expecting? Would you buy an application? And most, impo more, most importantly, would you use an application like this? So I uh, look forward to reading those comments. Anyways, this is uh, Ryan Knows Tech with techinform.us, our technology blog. My personal Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Our business Twitter is twitter.com slash techinformus. All these links are listed down below. And then on Tuesday nights, you can catch me live with Tech Inform and all of our posts on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. Catch you guys there next Tuesday or in Friday's video. Bye-bye.